roasting some beef, baby. Is that good? Tonight we're running on the right track. The first ever food tour being done right here at Xilin Night Market. Today, we're gonna be trying as many foods as we can find. We're making our way through the market right now. There's the smell of stinky tofu in the air. There's oyster pancakes grilling away right there. It's a beautiful sight to see. It's nothing but smells and noise and tasty food just waiting to be devoured. I can't wait to get into this. I'm actually pretty starving right now. I wanna see how many foods I can eat today. Let's do this. And here is our first destination. We're in line right now for this famous fried chicken. And how do I know that it's famous? Because there's like 100 people here. Look at them all. See? And when I came into the line, they gave me a plastic bag. I don't know what that means for sure. It means that they expect you to order some chicken and maybe even put it in the bag. That makes sense to me. I can't wait to get up there. The smells are coming off. It's, it's a lot of steam. A lot of people looking back at me like, why is that guy projecting his voice so much? Unnecessary. And I say, it's very necessary, bro. The sign is Chinese and Korean, but no English. And I can read the Korean, so I can just order in Korean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, nah, I got the not spicy one. <laughs> These are like huge. Are you sure it's fried chicken? It's fried chicken the size of your head. Guy, this guy, he has moves. At any moment, he's gonna put up about seven of these huge fried chicken fillets. The moment is coming soon. He's getting them together. He's doing, he's doing a lot of motions back there. And every time he does it, he does it with a sense of victory. Oh God, the moment of victory. Eight chicken breasts at once. Oh, and even more, he's doing even more. That's like five kilograms of fried chicken. Who do I pay money to? 70? 70, 70. Oh my God, I'm slowing things down. Here you go. And then you put it in your little trash bag. Yeah, thank you. Oh, many spices. Guys, this is a ridiculously huge piece of fried chicken right here. I got for 70 Taiwanese dollars. So that's about, uh, I don't know, $2, maybe a little bit more than $2. That's insanely reasonable. On here, they see they've put some kind of pepper and a bunch of other spices in there too. You can see all that seasoning they put on there, pepper, I smell some cinnamon. I don't know, maybe it's like the Chinese five spice. Oh, and it's so crunchy. I'm gonna try to take a big bite of this without burning my face off. Mm -hmm. Oh. The chicken is steaming away. It is salty, crunchy, juicy. It is such a beautiful treat. I can't believe they're selling this whole thing for only 70. That's the beautiful thing about this market. You can just see what's popping, where are people standing, jump in line, pay them some money, and then bam, you're gonna be happy. Um, all right. I've clapped. That was an amazing start for tonight. And tonight is all about like, I'm just gonna walk around and see what looks good to me. And this right here certainly has caught my attention. This is the legendary sausage in a sausage. Can I have uh, the, this one? Sausage in a sausage. Thank you, buddy. What they're gonna do here, he's got a smaller sausage here. He's gonna score that a little bit. These white ones, this is what's so amazing and unique to Taiwan, a sausage casing full of glutinous rice. They're gonna split that down the middle and that's gonna be like a little bun. Oh yes, they're cutting it open. Oh my gosh, they're brushing on some sauce. And then he's put on a little bit more vegetable. And then that, that dog is extra well done. It's just crispy on the outside. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so it's 50 NT. It's about like a buck and a half. That's a pretty reasonable price for what we got here. I'm gonna let it peek out a little bit more and you can see we have the rice there. It's like a rice bun essentially, this glutinous rice inside some sauteed vegetables and then the dog right there. It's like a hot dog inside of a hot dog. It's a beautiful thing. It's super hot, juicy. Let's try it out. Mmm. That is so nice. The fillings he put in there are a little bit peanutty, which is unexpected. I mean, check out these, this layering here. Again, fatty, glutinous rice, the steam coming off here. It's such a, it's such a treat. It's so unique and so delicious. As we travel to the central areas, it's gonna get more and more packed. A little bit harder to move around, but that's okay. I've got my eyes on this right here. 
what is this? Cabbage egg. Cabbage egg? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like they've got sandwiches here, but I think it's just cabbage and egg. So I just ordered some of this cabbage egg. Oh God, this has a little bit of everything. So there's some tuna here, some seaweed. We've got some corn in this quadrant right here. Some of this dried flaky, uh, I think squid. Some mayonnaise drizzled on there. It's just a cornucopia of different ingredients. Let's try it out. Oh yes, it's a cabbage and egg. That's what she called it. She said it's egg and cabbage. I'm gonna try it, it looks hot. Mmm, oh. That tastes wonderful. How is it? Mmm. Wow, it doesn't taste at all like cabbage. A little bit of eggy, like uh, some egg body to it. A great texture. It's many things I would not think to put together, but they have done it here. They have achieved the dream, the food dream. So this is especially a nice treat. Oh, I forgot to pay. <laughs> we just finished our cabbage and egg, and now, oh dude, check out the blowtorch. Can you see that? I've never seen anything like this. They've got these like little crustified uh, bread base under here. Right now he's gonna pour the base. So he's put some oil into each of these little vessels and then he's gonna put in this batter. Puts on the cabbage and then the thing that's most special here, one octopus per little vessel. It's like octopus cupcakes. Oh dude, look at all these. As soon as he torches them, they like curl up. They're kind of bubbling up and cooking instantly. Oh, that's amazing. He's putting the cheese on top of these little octopuses and then he's gonna come in with the torch now. Oh yes, that is a crowd pleaser. Everyone is very excited. All the cheese is just melting and getting gooey. I think they're gonna grab a bunch of those and give them to me, I hope. So here it is, our beautiful little roasted octopuses with that melted cheese on top. And so I'm gonna try to poke the octopus and get some of that bread. Oh my God. It is like an, a little octopus cupcake. Look at this, so majestic. It's steaming, it's cheesy. <laughs> I tested it with my tongue, not too hot. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, that is crazy good and crazy hot. There's layers to it. The main flavor is from that kind of fishy flakes and that sweet soy sauce on there. So it's very sweet and kind of smoky, but it's just a texture sensation. So good. Mm. All right, it's game time. I think the objective is to destroy the balloon before it falls all the way down. Your timing must be impeccable. Got my pink mallet here. If I get three, I get one of these. How many balloons? Seven, Seven balloons. If I get three, I get a stuffed animal. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! God damn it. One, two, three. Bam! Three. 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 Ah! Yeah, can I do that? Oh, it didn't work. Look at them. They're all, they're embarrassed for me. All right, you know what I'm better at? I'm making a food review show. Oh. Oh, a consolation prize. Right here we're at a place called Flycalf Barbecue Cheese Beef. Again, more cheese and it's cheese beef. It sounds amazing. So I'm getting one small Flycalf Cheese Beef. I have no idea what that means. We've got these delicious morsels of beef right here. Oh, more torch action. Can you believe the amount of torch action in this video? It's amazing. Oh my God, I can do it? Okay. I'm roasting some beef, baby. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna finish it off for me. You, you got it. You got it. <laughs> the beef has been sufficiently torched, putting in some cumin, and then right now, putting on some delicious cheese. Whoa, torching the cheese, that looks awesome. This market is all about like what is gonna appeal to people. And this is just straight beef and cheese and that appeals to me right now. Let's try it out. Come on. Mm. So the flavor, it's like eating some fajita meat with some cheese on there. It was so delicious with some salt on there too. 
were very nice. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now we're trying something called uh, fried milk. Probably have never even heard of fried milk, but we're gonna get some right now. So this is how it starts before you buy it. It starts out like this. They call it fried milk, but I don't think it's exactly milk. It's some kind of cheese or cream or something. What is this? Milk. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen solid milk. He's, he just says it's milk, okay. So he's getting this batter ready over here, and he's gonna bring these cubes, dip them in batter, and then put them in the fryer. Right here we have the fried milk, which doesn't make any sense, because milk is a liquid and not a solid. I wanna bite into this and figure out what it is for real. Whoa, it's very milky. It's also like some kind of light cream cheese. It's not as heavy as a cream cheese. Now I'm starting to feel like I'm in the US again with this fried random stuff. It's creamy, it's milky, it's got some vanilla flavor in there. That's awesome. Oh yeah. So this food is, it's a little bit special to me because the first time I ever watched Bizarre Foods, Andrew Zimmern was in Taiwan and this is, I think, the first food he tried in that episode and he's like, I always get two wherever I go. Here it is, the stinky tofu. It's a different kind, it's stinky tofu, it's fried, they put in some kimchi in the middle, some barbecue and cilantro on top and then you just eat it right off the stick. I'm a little bit scared because the stinky tofu is still pretty intense even if you dress it up like this. Let's try it. Oh, that is sour. It's sweet from the sauce. It's got the cabbage in there. It's uh, you know, the kimchi, it's salty. But from that fermented tofu, there is some, some deep sourness in there. When you come to Taiwan, the stinky tofu is a must try. It's intimidating, it's very smelly, uh, just like the name would suggest. It's just so unique to this area. You have to try it. Right here, we have some awesome octopus arms. You can see all the individual suckers on here. Like you know that's gonna have an awesome texture when you eat that. Right now, our octopus leg, I think that's a technical term for it, is roasting away. Someone's phone is busy. <laughs> <laughs> There's four seasoning options here. There's uh, salt and pepper, mustard, cheese, or cumin. I went with cumin for the second time tonight. I don't know, I'm on a cumin tick. I'm on a, a, I'm on a cumin kick. And so maybe it's gonna taste like octopus tacos, but without any, you know, tortilla around it. Wow, yes, thank you. Thank you. Shay Shay. Wow, look at that. Here we've got about a half a meter of freaking octopus leg. This was a huge octopus. Thank you, octopus. These sections here where the suckers have been kind of grilling and becoming crunchified, that's gonna taste delicious. It's just steaming still. What a treat. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, there's some intense Cuban flavor on there. The suckers, it's almost like they're popping in your mouth while you eat them. I've never seen an octopus like served in this way. It's like they skewered the whole thing, put it on a stick. It's a little bit chewy, but a beautiful presentation otherwise. Nice, let's keep moving. I'm gonna try not to stab anybody. Another brilliant invention here, hello. Here we have like a bundle of green onion wrapped with some pork. I think we're just gonna jump into it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is some intense onion. Nice, meaty, greasy outside. I like that the onion is cooked down a little bit, but there's some intense onion flavor there. I've never seen something like this for street food. It's really creative. I like it. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. Right now, we're about to try one of these classics of Taiwanese cuisine. I've never had it before. It is the oyster omelet. It is an omelet with oysters because oysters are a natural aphrodisiac. And so, I'm not, yeah, so it's good. So here it is. I've had a lot of stuff in an omelet before. I've never thought to put an oyster in there. Look at that, super simple. Some rice batter an egg and oyster. Some of these greens on there too. They're, it's kind of beautiful. Let's try it out. This is classic Taiwanese street food. Ooh, steaming hot still. 
Mmm. Yummy. Kind of peanutty sweet sauce that they put on there. It really ties it all together. And there's a beautiful oyster right there. Gooey, hot, steaming, and covered in that sauce. Let's get a bite that definitely has some oysters in it. I want to really feel, that is what's special here is the oysters. I really want to feel it. Oh no, no. You're not getting away from me. Let's try it out. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Woohoo! Goes with those flavors so well. There's no like pronounced seafoody, rivery taste or anything like that. It just adds some nice texture and some nice saltiness to it. I love it. And oysters are an aphrodisiac, so I got a big night ahead of me. Alone in my hotel room. Guys, thank you so much for watching this fun food video. If you like the video, subscribe, because I make a lot of fun food videos. Throw me one of these, don't throw one of these. Also, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company putting on tours throughout Vietnam, and I know what you're thinking, but Sunny, you're in Taiwan, I know. But I'm able to come here and make these fun food videos because of One Trip. So next time you're in Vietnam, Saigon, Hoi An, Da Nang, or many more cities to come, look up One Trip. If you're interested in doing a food tour, village tour, Mekong Delta tour, adventure tour. They have so many tours and different cool and interesting ways to experience the real Vietnam. For more information on one trip, check out the links in the description down below. I'm gonna see you next week or next video. I don't know, I'll see you at some point. A peace.